video, I'm going to walk you through the assessment tool of go to section based on answer. Um, there are many things you need to consider um, before you kind of get started. Um, in order for go to section based on answer to work first, it's important that as a teacher, you think about what you want your content to look like. Um, so I would recommend kind of outlining or kind of jotting down um, what how you want your form to work, um, because once you ask a question, you can assign um, based on how your students respond, which section of the form they go to. So this could look like they get a question correct and they move on to a enrichment task um, to be pushed further, or it could look like they get the answer incorrect of a question and it remediates them or has them rewatch a video, go visit a site, and then re-answer that question in order to be able to move on. So let me show you how this works. Um, I have set it up a little bit ahead of time for time um, so that I can have my content in to show you, but I'll still walk you through those steps. Um, so first I've thought about how I want my content outlined. I'm going to outline it by asking a question. So I have this question that I want all students to answer just right here in my normal Google form. So after they put their first and last name in, I want all the students to visit this Duxer site below and read about the causes of the American Revolution. So after they visit this site, they then are taken to immediately their first question. And this is the question I'm going to use to determine, can they move on to the next section and go ahead and um, visit something for enrichment? Or um, after I assess them, if they get it incorrect, um, do I want them to watch something again for that remediation? And so to do that, I already have my question, or I have their first task after they go to this website. Then I have this question. So after reading that article, I want them to determine which of the following of these is a cause of the American Revolution. And so there are some important things though you have to do to the question. So I have my question here. The first thing it's important to note is that the question has to be multiple choice. If you don't set it as a multiple choice question, and if you don't have that answer key turned on um, and have the correct one selected, it will not give you these options. And um, let me show you what I mean by this. If I made this check boxes, you'll notice all of a sudden my option for go to section based on answer is no longer visible. It's not down here in my skinny snowman. It's not over here on the side. It's just not an option at all. But as soon as I make this question multiple choice and I come here to my skinny snowman, I have that option of go to section based on answer. And so now um, I've also made the answer key. So I've clicked answer key and I have selected which one's correct. So that first option. Um, and so now that I have that selected, I can tell them um, and set it up as if they get this question correct, I can have them go to either the next section or the following one. So I've also went ahead and set up both my enrichment task next here as a section, as well as another section of my um, remediation. If they get that incorrect, what I want them to do. Um, in order to create a section, I know this is confusing too, it is one of your options over here in the toolbar. So you'll notice instead of adding a question or importing that media, the very last section here of the toolbar is adding a section. So when you click that, it allows you to create a section. Now you can do anything you want with that. So I've already done that. Um, now that I have my question selected and I have here the checkbox of what is correct, um, if they get this correct, I want them to continue to section three because that is my in that is my enrichment task to keep them going. So I'm going to say go to section three. They have mastered understanding about the causes. So now they're ready to read more about the actual American Revolution. Now, if they get it incorrect, I want them to go and I want them to actually watch this video um, about the causes to see if they can get that information again, maybe in a different format. So I called it American Revolution Causes Review. So if they accidentally, not accidentally, if they select the incorrect answer, then they will be guided to this section instead. So let me show you what that looks like. So I'm going to go in this, the preview view. As you can see, we have our form. Um, as you can also see, I'm glad this showed this. When I put a link in for them to view, when I'm in the editing mode, it doesn't hyperlink. But now that I'm here, 
and I'm in the actual student view, you can see that. So now, if say, let's say I'm a student, so I need to put in, I'm going to put test student. Let's pretend like I've gone and I've viewed this. I Maybe I think that this first answer is correct. You'll be able to see. Ah, there we go. So since I got it correct, it wants me to go ahead and check out this link on how the American Revolution got started. But let's say I got it incorrect, so you can see how it works. Maybe I thought that the king would not let any of the colonists travel back anymore, put a ban on it. If I say next, now as you can see, um, it has guided me instead to watch this video to have that remediation to learn more. So that is how Google Forms works with branching. Remember, there's a, a few important things you need to remember before you use that go-to section based on answer in order to do this. The first is you need to think about your content. Um, what is the initial question you want students to answer? And then also after that, do you, what do you want it to take them to? Is there a enrichment option, a remediation option? So outline those. Next, you need to make sure you add those different sections within your Google Form. Remember, that is on the toolbar, this add section. And third to remember, that question that you set has to be multiple choice. If it's not multiple choice, you will not get this go to section based on answer for your initial question to be able to choose those. Thank you so much for watching.